What's up, Trios Tribe? Uh, Resue the Squirrel here in the uh, webcam flesh. Um, yeah, uh, to bring you guys a new uh, video type, I guess. <laughs> um, definitely, uh, I've been wanting to do one of these for a long time now. Um, definitely, I've been wanting to do like, ow. <laughs> I've been definitely wanting to do a uh, like an opinion piece slash news slash just just a way, just an outlet to talk about all the things like One Piece, Digimon, all the things you come guys come to this channel about, right? Uh, and then hopefully we expand to other card games, but you know, it's just just something fun. And that way, like maybe like if I if I vent all my stuff out in these in the in these videos, then maybe I don't have to talk about it in my matches, and then uh, and then maybe the maybe the the quality of those goes up for you guys. I don't know, uh, but definitely have been wanting an outlet for. Uh, just talking about random stuff um i just want so here we are i'm just kind of showing off my uh, youtube channel i a thousand four hundred and sixty of you guys it's it's incredible to think that like in a year we've gone that far like it's it's uh, uh, um, um you know, speechless speechless is it but uh yeah, i wanted to go to the community tab and Kind of show you guys this poll that I had a little, uh, a little while ago. Um, I've been trying to do polls. I kind of go back and forth on doing polls. Um, I, I just kind of like you know put a put a you know put feelers out for what kind of like what my audience is looking for and what you guys see and want from me. You know, and at the end of the day, if it's not fun for you, it's not fun for me. And then like, was it? Why am I even existing? <laughs> um, but um yeah so you guys voted and uh number one was as you see future fridays you guys want that coming back and uh like one second i got you guys i got you guys look 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 look, look. we definitely we are definitely in the works with more future fridays <laughs> um but uh yeah it's, it's just a work in process like it's it's hard to like get the cards on screen like i'm not i'm not a professional youtuber i don't have I, I use imovie for like everything and it just takes time it it takes time to find the time to edit a video that long and not to mention like get my friends together um find a deck i want to play um it's just it just takes time and it, it's hard to find that time especially when you're involving other people because i have to play against somebody right and that that also kind of like hinge like infringes on the availability of which i can do things right so it's coming i'm definitely i i got way more planned i plan on to expanding to one piece future fridays um so that'll be exciting do some set three stuff some yamato stuff that um for those who don't know i've 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 been wanting to do sanji um I've been excited for Sanji. Sanji's a fun deck, but as we can see competitively, it's not the greatest. Um, but yeah, it's not the greatest. But um, definitely thinking about switching to play some uh, yellow, some some Katakuri, and then some Yamato, depending on how how good those decks are. So we'll see. And then set three, set four stuffs being revealed too. So maybe we'll just we'll just find a good a good plot of time to go into Future Friday One Piece. But yeah. That stuff's coming for you guys, definitely. So your, your voices are heard. Now, the, the elephant in the room, um, <laughs> deck profiles. Ugh. I'm not a fan of doing prep deck profiles for two reasons. Number one, I do not want to do a deck profile on a deck that I haven't like fully played, you know? I'm um, like, that feels like false advertising. I mean, because realistically, I could put any 50 cards together and be like, here's my white beard deck. And if I haven't, like, and, like, you guys would, like, I could lie to you guys and you guys wouldn't be none the wiser, right? Just, you'd, you'd be like, all oh, this deck sucks and be like, I'm sorry, I just, I did, I did, I did, I did, you know? Um, <laughs> but I just, that's always been bugging me. Um, I thought maybe, uh, so, like, I just, I don't want to recommend decks that I don't play myself in that way. Um, and then on top of that, I don't play that many decks. Um, in one in Digimon, I play Blue Hybrid. Still waiting for a new Lobamon <sighs> or a new Koji, something, please. Um, I only play Blue Hybrid, and I play like Garuru, and I play I play like really basic decks that like there's not there's not a lot of the change that happens to those decks over the past few sets, you know. Um, at Nationals, I played All Force, but I did really bad at Nationals and. To be fair, my, my, my mind wasn't, I didn't go in wanting to win and uh, like, eh. but 
Um, where was I? Oh, all force. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I could do a little deck in one piece. I only play Sanji. Like I played Law, and then I played Sanji, and I did a deck profile on Law and Sanji. I just haven't found the success I've wanted to with it without to like like you know brag about it or like post about it. So, eh. Um. But yeah, um, I think what I might be doing to like facilitate the need, you guys desire deck profiles, um, I might start doing like interviews with people at my locals, um, but at that again, that's evolving another person that takes time out of other people's lives and it gets annoying, it gets hard. So yeah, that's it. And then the news video got 6% and, but I'm excited about that one. So I, I, I want to do this. And then market watches, I don't know. And tier lists, like, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe maybe that all just, like, kind of, like, like envelops itself into just Risu rambles, you know? Um, and I'm also, like, being self-conscious and trying to, like, sit up for once, you know? Like, I have, like, gremlin shoulders when I, like, <laughs> um, But, yeah, like, I got some show notes. Look at this. Look at this. We got my notepad. All right. We wanted to start with uh, channel stuff. We got there. We got there. We got a... There's another topic we could add to my channel stuff. Uh uh commentate one day please question mark question mark all right moving on <laughs> um yeah let's go to like some digimon stuff what what's what's going on in the digimon world we got we got the we already got bt12 pre-release stuff going on um let's let's take a look at that um Pre-releases, I think they were cool um, five sets ago. And after that, I've started not caring anymore. Um, sometimes the prize cards are cool, but you can always buy those. Um, and then the pre-release cut packs in BT7, when they started becoming foil, um, that's when I think everyone fell in love with pre-release cards. But now they're doing, now at least in BT11, the cards in the set also are now foil and that's infinitely better than having a little pre-release stamp on your card so i think pre-releases are slowly on the way like in my mind on the way out and th like they're fun but like i'd rather just play you know i don't like the format is just so, so like eh. it's not like crazy it's not like it's i guess it's just like everyone's hoping like the idea is like oh magic pre-release is so fun and it's like it is <laughs> but uh, like it's just no game is like magic right now um and like digimon like requires like level two level three level four like five six and like a lot of the cool stuff you know but mm. uh yeah but i think a big talk to topic of discussion this time is the participation card and the winner card they are reprints they are full card art reprints of a bt3 bancho stingmon and then the bt2 Mag magna Dramon. and i think like the consensus is like these are not reprints we've been needing right like there are other cards that they could have targeted but my counter to that is going to be we don't like my counter to that is that this is not what this is for um these are these arts in particular are cards in J that japan has and Bandai is looking for a way to give them to us, right? And if this is how they're going to do it, I think I'm okay with that. Because the alternative starts becoming, um, we either never get some of these cards, that these cool cards that Japan has art-wise, or like we have another Pulsemon scenario where, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how many... Maybe I'm just, I'm a Digimon boomer, I guess, but I, I, everyone remembers BT4 pre-release. Pulsemon was the participation card. And that card went up to $50, $60 at one point. Because it was the only way to get it was these part these uh, these pre-releases. And that was kind of still in the middle of COVID, which was, yeah. But not in the middle. Maybe it was like towards the last half of COVID, maybe. But yeah, I guess it depends on when you... Yeah, this, this channel is not about that um but i don't think we ever want a scenario where these participation cards become 60 dollars again like you know what i mean like it's just not that's just not where we want to be um but yeah like what else we got we got oh, oh ultimate cups uh I, have i talked about this yet and i probably have talked about it once or twice in my videos but um i'll talk about it here uh ultimate cups are now becoming our alternative format like event 
and I think that is so sick. <laughs> like, um, like, come on, like, cause, like, okay, so I don't know if anyone comes from people come from Yu-Gi-Oh, right? And people come from Magic, and people come from uh, Digimon, or oh my God, Pokemon, and that all those card games have alternate formats and none of them are really supported, right? So everyone's like, oh, GOAT format's so good. And everyone, like a lot of like people tend to have their GOAT format decks, but most people don't care. <laughs> like it's just, it's an unsupported format that like you can get good at it all you want, nothing good ever comes of it. And then people are gonna tell me, well, my, my store runs like, oh, come on. Let's be, let's, let, let's think big, let's think globally. Globally, like, like popper event like i think magic might be like trying to do more like with their alternate formats but like realistically let's think about it right every card game has their main format and then they don't really support the other ones and then digimon isn't quite does not quite have the breadth of cards to be supporting things like popper modern like i'm just using magic because that's the one that like has easy names to remember extended or is that pokemon pokemon has extended magic used to have extended um um goat format like we do we, we only have 12, 11 sets of card plus ancillary products right um like we just don't have the breadth of cards to really be making alternative formats like that but if we could just like if ultimate cup is now being like hey Look at this cool new alternate format, and now you're gonna care about it because we're giving you alternate our GG Mons and Gallant Mon Crimson modes from them. And that, oh my god, that's so that's so good, right? Like, make players care about these alternate formats, and like they don't, they like the alternate format could be a one and done and die. Like, that's fine. That like I think that's completely cool, especially coming from a world of, um, because like or, uh, let, like let's think about it. Digimon, we are constantly four or five sets behind Japan, right? I think right now they're on BT13. They have the reprint set, the EX4 set, which makes us four sets behind right now, right? We are four sets behind Digimon um, Japan. And a lot of the times what that means is they get their format, we get it after, and like the format like on a foundational level is already solved so then we get to go in and have time to like play around with some things but fundamentally you already have a good idea of what is and isn't working and that that's so sad to me so like i i, I know that everyone when the first ultimate cups rule set came out everyone was like talking back and forth what is going to be good what's going to be bad um and that was so fun. That was so fun. I haven't participated um, just because I've been kind of like whatever about online events, but it's definitely a good thing. Like, and like you get something valuable, like you get these altar Gigimon and the, the Crimson mode, like let's go down here. Um, yeah, you get all this stuff. You get BT or event pack four, um, rest in peace, event pack three, best event pack, all the hybrids, but you get all these cards and people care about these cards, man. Like. Like the like just for participating, um, you get a Gigimon. Like the Coral Mons from the original Ultimate Cups are still like sixty dollars, right? I'm, I'm not a Market Watch channel, nor do I keep up, but I'm pretty sure those cards are still like pushing seventy, pushing a hundred bucks, like you know, up upper side of the fifties, you know, or fifty to hundred. Good. I can't complain. Um, and then for those who may not be uh, or uninitiated, the way you sign up for these is you go to the Bandai site here. Um, yeah, uh, maybe I'll link it in the just Digimon dot card event. I'm sure you Google that. You get to a page like this. You click events up here at the top. Um, and then you're you're here and you get to see everything. You get to see the regionals. Um, we'll look at that in a second. But then like you see like these I think are probably sold out. I oh, know this one's probably not sold out yet. Uh, and you click here, it sends you to a site. Um, and here, yeah, like it's not, this one's not sold out for June 17th. Um, you can sign up right now, pay your $25. And it's a webcam event. You just go sign up, show up on time, follow the instructions in the email and you're good. Um, and every, every organizer is a little different every organizer is a little different uh like core tcg i think has a different site yeah rk9 is a, a very big for pokemon but uh yeah it doesn't say that it's filled to capacity so you can buy your tickets now and 
yeah join a cool event so if you guys aren't initiated in how to do this that that literally is what i do so i've gotten into these before um yeah, there you go quick tutorial like <laughs> quick tutorial i guess um but what else all right let's go let's check our notes we got we got through news or no we got through the events a little bit of the news um what else news uh oh blast like do we want to talk about blast day stuff hold on hold on i'm sorry i have so many discord folders it's really bad um let's see let's see uh news 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 here we are i'm already looking at it look at this look uh let me fix this for you guys uh look um china's getting cross record now they can be their meta could be screwed like ours <laughs> it's about time equality for everybody um but there's some cool stuff that they've been showing off lately what is this oh it's a new box oh uh, oh this is oh these are like the gift box stuff that they're showing no oh no these are the oh these are cool oh it's for the championships oh it's for 20, 2003 uh participation rewards and Oh, okay. So they revealed these. These are cool. You get little memory markers, acrylic stands. Everyone loves those. They sell a million of those at like the K-pop store next to, <laughs> next to me. Uh, K, K-pop store. Uh, East Asian trinket stores. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Uh, oh, embarrassing. Uh, where where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, we're we're going back to Discord. Oh, that's another thing. I I was thinking about doing this. Um. I was thinking about doing this like live so I can like interact with the chat and stuff. So let me know if that's something you guys would rather see from these. But I don't know. I kind of I, I think it'd be cool to be able to interact with the community through a video like this or like a live stream. And then I post it later. Um, but let me know. This, this stuff's fun to me. We can we can go like I make it a weekly thing, weekly stream. Um, but the blast day stuff. Oh, yeah. Dioboromon is getting a product. Look at that. We voted and we decided that Dioboromon is what's going to win. Cool. Um, but the our, uh, news. Oh, yeah. The sleeves. Blast days. Let's go to. All right. Let's look at some of the new cards. Blast days. All right. So let's, let's, let's focus. <laughs> blast days. The new mechanic. Uh, it, I know, I know everyone's like scared right now um justice for green shirt matt our boy's coming back Ju oh my god justice for green shirt matt he's coming back everybody i'm so happy he's wearing the correct color shirt he's got his gloves back it's how it always should have been um i'm a little so i guess talking about some of the new cards that they've been releasing uh this is for the starter deck uh it's the purple guru on starter deck we get a mat and um, you can read the effect here. Uh, at the start of your turn, it's a memory setter, set to three. All turns, when you trash a card in your hand with your effects, with your effects, by suspending this tamer, gain one memory. And I was a little disappointed that it's like a purple effect. Um, I was hoping that like, I was hoping that like the mat would be a little more blue, blue, purple, like some, it could work in both. Um, but it just, it's, it's very purple side because the, all right. So in for comparison, the, the, the black, this black tie, it can work in red Greymon and black Greymon because raid, right? So blocker and raid are both redirection effects that would trigger this tie. And so now it works in both colors. So I was really hoping we'd get this, this mat would work in both colors, but he doesn't, he's a purple card through and through because blue doesn't really have discard. So is what it is, but eh. It's, it's what can we do but blast days all right so i'm sure everyone's already seen all the videos about it blast days basically says they're adding a new step it's in between when attacking and when you declare blocker it's a step in between and you can say hand counter it's counter step from your hand from for now they're from the hand and you get to digivolve a digimon and most Digimon, and then what happens is you trigger when Digivolving or an all turns effect like here. This War Greymon says counter blast Digivolve. Your Digimon can blah blah blah. He is a blocker, so now you can when attacking blast Ace Digivolve into your blocker and now block. Right? He also has an all turns effect that says when a card is removed from the security stack, unsuspend this Digimon. So now 
first time, let's like say he was a suspended and then they swung at security, you can untap him and now you have a blocker or you get, you get where I'm going. Um, the counter of the counter of all the and it's for free too. remember it like that's another thing that I guess is important to mention is that these cards are f like it's free to to, to activate their uh, their uh, counter effects, right? It is a free digivolution cost But to counter that they have this ace overflow and what it says is if it leaves the battlefield in any way any way goes under the tamer goes into security goes into crave comes back to your hand goes under to the deck you are going to lose this much memory and that is their way of counterbalancing the advantage you would get for doing something for free right you're paying that memory forward assuming it gets dealt with and if it doesn't get well with then you just generated all this value for free which is kind of good um i think people are a little scared i know it's you you see hand on there and you're like hand traps oh my god i quit the, i quit Yu-Gi-Oh for this please i don't think it's that bad yet yet um because these are very telegraphed for now they are digivolutions right so all we've all of that have been revealed right now are level fives and level sixes and and uh, like i mean if i'm sitting here with a level four on board and you attack me you should assume that there is the potential that I could blast ace, right? So it's something very telegraphical. Like I can't blast ace different level fives on top of each other. It's not, oh, I can hard play this Draymond. No, it has to be a dedge evolution. So if I'm, my, I'm on my four, you swing at me, I can blast into a level five. I'll say blast, why not? I can counter blast into a level five, do those effects. Whatever happens, happens. If you swing at me again, I can blast into my level six and your two attacks just went me and my level four go to level six. It's very linear and it's a very linear line of counterplay and playing on my opponent's turn, which could be a good thing for the game. We'll have to see. I think it's a little too early to, to judge. However, I'm glad that at least it's a very telegraphed mechanic like you're just not you're not gonna do this out of nowhere like it's it's gonna be very like obvious when you do such a thing i think so uh, and we also got the guru the guru one is actually the more crazy one because he could pass your opponent's turn because he says by trashing up to three cards gain one memory for each card trashed so if they're at zero you blast ace into the you blast evolve into this trash one card it's your turn now gg nuri um but yeah the blast days very exciting stuff with the blast day stuff i think it could be the, what we've needed in this game but i've been kind of down on digimon i guess that's a topic that i can bring up right uh, we're gonna add it is digimon dying the answer is depends on who you ask depends dot 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 just depends on who you ask um i think some of the problems people like people like me have with digimon right now is um it's just the power creep is one thing right like i just i don't know like i joined digimon because i love like lobomon and gurumon and like i don't know if i want to be on this treadmill anymore where it's just just play the new stuff right you look at bt12 and BT12 is hard to remember. Like Quartzmon is gross, really strong, and the Hunter stuff is really good. And um, you look at EX4, and like none of those decks really ended up doing much in Japan anyway. Um, but like the the Alter S stuff's okay, I guess. And then you turn around and you're like in BT13, Shine Greymon's clapping everybody, Mirage Galgamon's clapping everybody, Royal Knights is clapping everybody. And it's just like, if you're not playing the new stuff, why are you here? It feels like. Um, and I don't know if I want to be on that treadmill. I mean, it's the reason I got off it on Yu-Gi-Oh! It's the reason I got off it on Magic. Like, I really like people like me. I just want to play Lobamon and like you could just be like oh you you could keep playing Lobamon just not competitive and like but like look the only opportunity people like me have to play this game is by going to my card shop every week when everyone schedules to go and just play and if 
if I'm showing up just to lose my lunch money and pay, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that anymore with Digimon. Like, it's like, ugh. I just want a second Lobomon. I just want a second Koji, man. Uh, like, please, please. Um, it is what it is, though. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I think Digimon still. I think it's still gonna go for at least more. It's, it's got more years in it. Um, I think Ban it's a little sketchy with Bandai um, making so many card games um, because def I, I don't think a, a company is just... All right, so look, think of it this way. A company hired 100 people to make, we'll say, we'll, to make Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball was the first card game. Just don't argue. <laughs> um Dragon Ball was the first card game. I hired a hundred people to make Dragon Ball. I am then I want to make Digimon. I am not hiring a hundred new people to make Digimon, right? I am going to use most, if not all, my Dragon Ball team, move them to Digimon, and then just have what I need left in, in now that Dragon Ball's established, I'm going to reduce their workforce, right? So maybe for Digimon, I hired maybe 10 new people. And then that trickles and trickles into, and that trickles into One Piece. That trickles into now, uh, it's hard to say now, Battle Spirits, because it gets complicated. Like, I get it. Um, this is not supposed to be super accurate. Um, and then now they're doing Union Arena. And who says they're going to stop at Union Arena now? Like, they're just making card games on a stop. And it's like, um, like, if you just leave Skeleton Crews and your best people are just constantly moving on to making these best games like what happened like these games i feel like there is a real risk that these games fall behind um in terms of like their quality and then they just resort to you know what i feel like is happening right now like hey make the new stuff overpowered they're gonna have to buy the product to stay relevant and then you're just forced to just play whatever's new and i, I don't know if i want to be there and that and then like also by the quality uh, and then and okay so like all right I don't want, I want to play Lobomon and that's my thing. Um, if you want to ride the treadmill and play whatever the new best thing is, that's great too. Uh, I'm not judging anyone for anything, but here's the thing. BT11, think about it. Follow me on this for a moment. Black War Greymon came out in BT11. All the new stuff came out in BT11. That deck is, was before the bands, the best deck right it's it's i don't i do not accept questions or arguments at this time i'm pretty sure it was the best deck of that format pre-ban list um what else came out in bt11 phoenix mon support mars mon where are those decks basically nowhere right like and then okay so like you look at like you look at bt12 and you're like a restaurant and the hunters really strong stuff what else is in there i don't know the black hybrids um and then after that ex4 like alliance versus alliance green and sequiamon blue and uh the alter s stuff like all those decks were just all those decks are just like how can you make the best deck of a format in, in a single box and then all the other decks are irrelevant like i don't like all force okay was a cool fun combo deck but it really wasn't showing up anywhere i mean at this got a couple tops but that's probably as best as it gets for bt12 and then you look at you know you even look at bt13 and you got at least if you look at if you look at tops um rosemont where's rosemont not really as many maybe it's maybe it's changing well uh, maybe i can get into that um Where's Rosemon? Where's Ravemon? All those guys got stuff in that set, and where are they? I don't, I don't know, man. Um, so like, oh, it's like, uh, actually, that goes into another uh, thing I wanted to sh look. I'm just trying to think of ways that I can make this 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 show interesting for you guys, and I, I do want to make it a show, and I do want to make it something that like you know it's enjoyable to talk about and. That's why I'm probably going to try to stream maybe then if not the next one, the next next one, and then just kind of make it like a weekly event for people. And that, that could be exciting. Um, what's next? Oh, I wanted a content creator. Content creator. That's cool. I spelled creator wrong. I don't care. Moving on. East. 
um he commentated the digi showdown really cool guy um i think he doesn't get he provide like he provides something very unique that not a lot of places not at least from what i have seen he's the only one that does this he provides a weekly meta recap and then here's the video uh sorry look i'm subscribed to him even um bt13 japan meta week five and then you can go and um, let's make it full screen uh yeah that's good enough and you, it's kind of chopped off but you can kind of see like all right uh cross uh Crossheart got 10 wins, got 10 total wins at the at, in Japanese locals. Shine Greymon got seven to nine wins. He he has his own tier list of stuff. This is this is a tier list made on on this is a tier list made on purely numbers. There is no subjectivity here. Um, this is just pure numbers. So Crossheart top got 10 wins last week. We'll say last week. I'm not. I don't want to be. Don't, don't crucify me for. Uh, accuracy and something like this shine gray uh is ultimate tier he writes um and uh, like and then like okay so rosemond's champion tier okay i'm a little off but where's uh where's ravemon ravemon doesn't exist uh god dang it <laughs> um but you get my point all right i i think in terms of uh, digimon content creators check out east subscribe to him i think he i mean he's above me like i'm sure if i'm sure if you're subscribed to me you probably know who this guy is uh just 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 he i i like him i i think i think i want him to do more of this not more that's the wrong word i want him to continue oh, i didn't even like it i'm a terrible person um i want him to do more of this this is great we it gives us a window into the japan scene then like yeah you can go into digimon meta but it's not this i do not think you get the same value that you do out of this page right here um just like and he goes on and talk about it he talks about like the decks uh okay yeah yeah yeah. okay my my youtube is being a little slow i'm sorry um but yeah he goes into the decks he shows a deck list like he does all this stuff and it's like it's so cool like i don't know he needs to do he needs to keep doing this and you guys need to appreciate him for doing this because it's so good um yeah show notes where are we all right content creator that is cool digimon dying depends look i don't think it's gonna die anytime soon keep playing if you love it play it i think people like me who start it, it the game has just changed and a lot of us are kind of like Ugh, about it um but hey if they come out with a whole new wave of blue hybrid support and it's good that's the other thing oh my god all right pet peeve number 73 like all right so look next four sets we are getting shine gray support mirage galgamon support like three or four times in a row and then finally they get good in bt13 like so that like what hope do us blue hybrid people lobomon i'm gonna say lobomon in specific what hope do us lobomon enjoyers have to like get like support for the stuff we want you know like um, like well, there's no there's not even gonna be guaranteed that it's gonna be good and you're like Ugh. like i'm gonna sit here wait for support for my favorite deck it might not even be good and like what's the point of being on this treadmill man i don't know um but yeah i think that that wraps up digimon kind of nicely um blast ace is exciting um is digimon dying it depends and east is dope look up east right here east yeah i think you have to google east space digimon in youtube and you should he should come up but he's dope uh he's great um news events yeah we got it all covered let's move on to one piece our one piece enjoyers um oh this is uh this is a good website digimon or <laughs> one piece top decks uh but we're skipping we're skipping we're skipping uh here we go one piece one piece events uh we're skipping steps again but again uh another uh did you one piece is a little annoying you have to go to their events page and then you have to click competitive this kaido picture right here learn more and here's our events we got treasure cups and we got championships happening now wait a minute we forgot Ugh. something i'm actually mad about store championships don't give invites that's upsetting <laughs> i don't know man like there's okay so the, i think there's like two trains of thought there's um there's the people that are say well nationals should be an exclusive event it should be 
it should be the best of the best show up and that's it and i'm like sure but that's also what worlds is but okay i get it like a little bigger pool of people like it's it's not i'm not i'm not arguing that logic i'm not here to argue i'm just kind of here to be like disappointed <laughs> that makes sense um but like man i'm like i'm like i don't know like we went and it was a thousand people and that was sick man um and i feel like i feel like unless and like i feel like most of those like look let's be real most of those people like store championships were the way they got in and i think that's fine that's how i got in this time year one i got in through topping a, a regional like i got seventh or eighth or something i don't remember um and that's how i got into the first nationals and that was fun the second one i didn't i i got my invite pretty early and i i didn't have to care about uh online events or in-person events and that felt good <laughs> like i didn't i just didn't have to care and i didn't want to care um but now I have to care. And I think I think the invites still don't drop down, which is kind of gross. Like we really like it. The fact that Digimon, like One Piece had Mulligan. Digimon has Mulligan now, and that's a good thing. Thank you, Bandai. Oh my god. Digimon One Piece started with Mulligan. One Piece start is starting its championship circuit with invites passing down to the next person. And all of that is so important. Like Oh, those are so good so many good things that why doesn't digimon have that how can you make one piece have these things when we've been begging for it in digimon and like not giving it to us like Arr. um so yeah like store championships not get don't give invites i think that's bad i think i want it um i've already thought of like oh it's like you show up and you just kind of choose who gets it and I'm like i'm like what's wrong with that like the person showing up to locals and everyone around them agrees that they get the invite like that that is like community a community run effort to have somebody represent their store at a championship that's so cool like that don't like like okay like okay so he, he's in like nowhere louisiana and like it's like five people but like he gets to represent his store at nationals basically maybe not everyone looks at it that way but like still everyone helped him go to nets and I like, I don't know. I like that. I, I kind of like, I, I like that. That's cool. <laughs> um, but okay. If they're not going to do store championships at give invites for nationals and nationals is now more exclusive. I think at least make invites drop down. Um, uh, the same person should not be able to like gatekeep invites. That's really gross. Like I am okay with people going to events again and again and topping multiple events. Get all the prizing you want. I don't care. But that does not mean you get to hoard invites. Like that's not, I think I don't like, I'm sorry. That's not like, that's not cool. <laughs> that's not cool. I'm sorry. Um, it's not cool that you like, uh, like, do you like hoard them? Like it's, these aren't NF NBA rings, you know, <laughs> you can't, uh, I don't know. Like, okay. So, all right. We live in a world where store championships aren't giving invites. That's bad. Move on. What What else? Um, give us another DigiFest. Give us another event that can be our 1,500 people event. Like the big one where like, oh, they're going to reveal a new set. Or, oh, we're going to have the art gallery. Or, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Like, like give us another DigiFest. Um, if, if they do that instead and make it like a big thing, then I'll be okay fun in mentally with nationals just being like, oh, the elite, the elite event. Okay. Like that's okay. Like we can make nationals the elite event if you give the event for the people. All right. And right now from in my head, the chant, the nationals is the event for the people that care the most. Right. And I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like maybe you guys didn't like most of you guys probably didn't go, but it was really fun to see everybody. <laughs> like, I don't know. And I, I want to keep having events like that. And if, if you make nationals more exclusive, it's not going to be the event to see everybody. And I don't know. Moving on. One Piece. One Piece is doing a great job with their tournament scene. However, um, for those like, all right. So treasure cups, you sign up the same way. Their, their site is not as nice um, as the Digimon one for some reason. At least it's not like like all the grids and stuff aren't like they don't do it with the grids and stuff so like it's just, 
But uh, like here, you click registration, course ECG, blah, 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 blah. You click here, um, tournaments cap. And that's the big problem. Everyone's upset about this, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, I sold out in 0.7 seconds. Da, 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 da. And like, I get it, man. That flipping sucks. And there's no two ways about it. That sucks. Um, I really like the player caps suck. There is no like I can't I cannot not agree with you on that on that idea fundamentally. And the the answer isn't however the way where I argue with people is the answer isn't um the answer isn't um oh, I'm so sorry. The answer isn't just increase player caps. That's just not going to happen. Why? Why is that not going to happen? Dear YouTube viewer, streamer, YouTuber, why? You're asking me why? And I'm going to show you why. It's because of these. It's because of the participation. It's because participation packs and uh, giving you sleeves. Just for entering, you get sleeves, dude. Um, granted, I think Digimon's a little better in their participation pricing. But listen, Bandai isn't going to... Bandai does not print these to demand. Right, they are not going to print three thousand event packs for a three thousand person tournament just for participation. You know, they're not going to print three thousand of these dawn sleeves. And like, you might tell me, like, hey, like, look, what? As far as I'm aware, big events for for Magic, you don't get bumpkiss for participating. You show up, you better do good if you want anything. Yu-Gi-Oh! Same thing. You better do good if you want any kind of compens- like, we're gonna call it compensation, but like, I mean, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic get like three, four thousand person events, right? Like, maybe I'm off, but you get my point. Like, our biggest event was a thousand people, but like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Magic have like, clapped that thousand times like plenty of times like 1k is like whatever um you get my point but i think the thing is we have to accept like maybe they could like okay let's say the player caps right now are 512 they should say okay participation you get nothing nothing thanks for showing up thanks for giving up your lunch money you get nothing however if you get top 512 you get these Dawn Sleeves, you get the Dawn Sleeves, and you get the event pack, right? Instead of this saying participation, this now says 512, right? And I think that is the best, uh, that is the best, uh, oh my god, that is the best compromise I can think of. Because as long as participation is good like this, like participation prizing is like this, we're going to have player caps. And it's just a fact. Like, you can argue, like, oh, Bandai could just print more. And it just doesn't work that way, man. Like, how many times have our sets been delayed by months because of that's just not how this junk works. And it's the same reason, like, every OP01, OP02 is sold out everywhere because this stuff just doesn't work. Like, you don't just sit there and print more. That stuff's got to be printed in Japan or China. And then it's got to cross the Atlantic. How many of you guys have crossed the Atlantic Ocean? Not many. <laughs> oh wait, is this is it Pacific? Oh my god. Oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm uneducated. Oh, it's Pacific. Oh, maybe we edit that out. Maybe we edit that out. Maybe we just, it's Pacific Ocean. How many guys, okay, how many of you guys have crossed the Atlantic Ocean? I've done a little bit. I've gone to Columbia. I went... So that's like, oh, that's the golf, I guess. That's still the, you get my point. Whatever. I was wrong. But you get my point. Like, I, as long as, like, we're giving participation to everybody, which is not a bad thing. It's just the reason we have player caps. So if you don't want player caps, you people have to accept that you don't get uh, participation rewards. Like, just change this Change this to, say, top 512, and then you can you can, as many people as they want can sign up. I think that'd be okay. I think a lot of people, I think a lot of these organizers may be okay with that because that's just that at that point, it's free money. 
anyone that doesn't make it every everyone beyond the 512 is free money for them right because they don't have to ship anything to them they don't have to um deal with them <laughs> like okay more people means more problems like in terms of like ugh, but you get my point um but yeah that's the elephant in the room everyone's upset that they a can't get products which digimon was the same way that's just how it is in the life of like importing your card games from japan like if it's when they're popular they're just you're just not gonna have stock and it's because stores aren't stores do not have the capacity to respond to demand they have to their way of responding to demand is like okay set four set three or four i can order more but like they're already screwed on set one and two it's over <laughs> like i don't know maybe maybe like maybe maybe the people need to be educated more on like how like the supply chain and all that stuff works i feel like i don't even know but i feel like i know more than the most like i know enough to feel sympathetic towards stores and like companies and it's not like the companies need people defending them your lgs is due but like eh, whatever um what's it all right let's go back to my all right news or right, we, did, we did events let's go to news it's, it's got we got any fun news from uh for our One Piece people, that's the wrong folders. Um, news. Oh no 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 no. News news news. Oh, like this one's just not this organized as the same as the Digimon one, so I get very lost. Uh, the bands. Is that really the newest news? Is the bands all right? Boat Beard is banned, even though Boat Boat Beard isn't the one winning. <laughs> Right now, uh, Strawbeard is clapping everybody. Oh my god, every event, Zoro and Zoro and Whitebeard, and it's usually Strawbeard. So the Straw Hats are taking over, and sometimes they have the old man as their uh, guiding light. <laughs> um, but card leads, let's look at some card leads. Oh, the Robin, we got we get the Robin showing up. Let's see if we can we can get this a little bigger, maybe. There we go. The Robin. Very nice. It, actually, it's not Robin. It's Miss All Sunday. Sunday. But uh, yeah, she's got a trigger. Okay, on play. Uh, add one rest of Dawn from your cost area. If you have six or more Dawn, draw one card. That's cool. That's actually insane. You play her on curve and you, you ramp to six and draw a card. That's sick. And then she's got a trigger. Minus two Dawn. Play this card. So um she actually it's actually a minus one but um it's it's trying to nerf the uh draw one part of it if that all makes sense and i think that's that's fair and balanced um she's a baroque works so imagine we're getting a lot of baroque works support a little annoying that <laughs> the crocodile is i think yeah he's purple yellow now oh, the picture is like eh. he's purple yellow and there's no baroque works yellow stuff it's all for now it's all like whole cake island stuff and it's just like ugh, why do you guys keep doing like breaking us up like this but we'll see and then the dull flamingo is green purple and we were we got revealed the super rare dull flamingo um green's first 10 drop look at this don't flamingo mastermind himself dull flamingo don quixote um on play up a a total of up to three of your opponent's rested characters or leaders, as if I could have more leaders, do not become active during their opponent's next refresh step, or the untap step, or the upkeep step, whatever you want to call it, on suspend phase, or whatever. Um, kind of a kind of a gross call. Like this card has the potential to blow your opponent out like crazy. Like if they take a swing out turn and. So this is the thing, like this is actually what like 10 drops need to be. Like this thing can blow your opponent out for a turn, just completely stop their turn for whole thing. This is what 10 drops need to be right now because the way of One Piece setting up, once you get to 10, you've already traded back so many cards back and forth. You've, you've invested so many resources back and forth that like towards the end of the game, playing a 10 drops hard. Like it's not easy. You have to like set up a good turn to play your white beard or a good turn to no, no white beard's different you need to set up a good turn to play your shanks you need to set up a good turn to play your mihawks um and it's hard it's not easy um that that's those situations don't always come up and it is what it is right 
um, especially with the speed of the game right now. And this card just saying, all right, three of your things can't attack me this turn is insane because then you turn around and then you can be like, all right, your stuff was frozen. You couldn't even attack me this turn, let's say. And now my turn, I get full 10 Dawn. I got a 10K on board that's just going to swing and take, re take resources from you. And I got full 10, 10 Dawn to work with. Um, and then he's on seven warlords, Don Quixote pirate, which actually might be relevant for Sanji because I've been dabbling in the idea of a uh, seven warlords uh, Sanji deck because there's the problem is there's just no searchers for seven warlords because there's some good vanillas like there's the the Mihawk is insane. There's a there, the Mihawk's good. There's a there's a buggy one drop. There's a I mean the two Ks are obviously good. There's the more the more Gecko Moria vanilla. Um, there's the Weevil Vanilla, and then Boa, the blocker 4-drop blocker Boa is good, uh, the Doflamingo 3-drop blocker is good, like, there's so many good Vanillas, and then there's actually, like, good, um, blockers and, like, supporting stuff, so if we get some, like, uh, 7 Warlords, like, maybe we can get, like, some Searchers, if we get a 7 Warlord Searcher, because, like, like, the only Warlord Searcher we have is, like, a 3-drop Kuma, and that's really bad, like, I really don't like that card, um, but... Unfortunately, I think this might be a Don Quixote pirate set, so yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh yeah, that's that's some good some neat cards. Um and then let's 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 take a look at what's topping in Japan. Like I showed you guys this East stuff. I don't know if there's a one piece version of East. That would be great. I would love that. But uh look, let's look at this. Yamato is alright, it's the today we're recording this on the eighth. We got some eight, we got some law. I'm actually, I'm looking forward to seeing Ace. I want to see some Ace stuff. Uh, a lot of people, he really likes the Zoro. Holy. I think it makes sense in a world where you got to beat Whitebeard. Like, just getting more attack efficiency. Like, this guy getting an extra 1k from a Dawn is actually, like, it's mana efficient, right? It's Dawn efficient. Which is why people like this card. And then you can restand it with this law and get, like, some chunky swings at Whitebeard. Which... Sometimes, like, there's two ways to beat Whitebeard, and I think, like, you need these chunky swings. Like, you always, like, no matter, even if you go wide, you're gonna need chunky swings eventually to just, like, clear two or three cards. Like, you need, you need to swing bigger than a, uh, you need to swing bad, bad, bigger than a Radical Beam. Like, if you're not swinging bigger than Radical Beam, like, you're just wasting your time sometimes. Um, you need to get multiple cards out of uh, Whitebeard's hand, and... Yeah, it's part of why it's hard to do that, which is, it's hard to do that and be Dawn efficient. Um, so an ace, um, just looks basic like ace, just a bunch of events, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to try this deck. I'm glad it's doing well in Japan, like it's got some fairly good representation as you go down. Um, and then Yamato, Yamato and Karakuri, yellow is coming. Um, the biggest reason I want to play yellow is because they have Sanji. They actually have this, and then they have a promo Sanji that I think might, I think might be good in, uh, it might be good in Yamato. We'll have to see how much, oh, we got 53 minutes on this video. Oops. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, like, look at this. It's like, I, I got to pick up a bunch of these secret rares. I got to pick up the, this, the, these are starter deck, but I think I got to pick up, like, I want to pick up the big moms, the, the super rare big moms anyway. And then you need four of this guy. This guy's going to be the most expensive. This guy is going to be the Borsalino of yellow for a while. Cause yellow, like this card's too good in yellow. Um, uh, look at the top three of your deck, reveal one big pizza searcher, kind of like that Nami, but it's on KO. So it's like one of those, like, sir, it's like one of those cards where it's like, makes it really weird for your opponent to want to kill it. And you guys got a trigger to play himself just for discarding card. And he's going to give you that card back anyway if he dies. So it's like, uh, really good. <laughs> like, I don't, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, 5k. So 5ks are always good. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. Yellow. I'm excited. I want to try yellow. I want to try Yamato. Maybe that's what, it, it's probably going to be one of my future Friday decks. And then someone else can play, I don't know, Kata, I don't know, Ace or um, what else? What else was relevant from last? It's a lot of Ace, a lot of Katakuri um sp strictly speaking uh op3 plus and i i the plus is for the start decks um yeah it, it's looking like oh oh yeah 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 yeah. cp9 cp9 yeah maybe maybe that's gonna what my uh future friday for uh 
or what what is it what's, what's the meme i thought of a meme for it uh toki toki no friday tiki it's, it's, it's like that fruit the the uh the wife of odin has the like time travel spoilers so no i shouldn't spoilers you guys or if you know you know at this point so we're gonna move on just, just forget it happened cp9 cool great love it uh yeah i mean i think that's it we're already hitting like 55 minutes i think this was a a, a lot i talked about a lot i don't i hope the future oh random stuff uh random stuff uh lorcana no one knows how to play this stunt this junk yet i want to i want to get into lorcana for the youtube channel um that's the biggest reason i'm interested in it just kind of like an easy way to expand my channel um it looks fun I, I i feel like i think it's a little overhyped in terms of like oh disney's gonna put so much money into this there's gonna be there's gonna be like a million dollar tournament just like battle spirits and da, 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 da. like i don't think so man i don't think i don't think did i don't think disney is going to put a single dollar into this game period um well what i forget ravensburger ravensburger bought the license from disney and they are going to be fully responsible for anything money wise maybe maybe down the line depending on how successful it is disney they might get the ability to ask disney for some funding to support it in some way in a big way but i don't think so i don't like we don't see villainous tournaments you know we don't see like villainous advertisements on the tv like you go to disney channel and like I don't think these are the commercials we're going to be getting. Maybe, maybe we'll get some com Lorcana commercials because there, there, there seems to be a good commercial push for this game because we'll like we're going to see it in targets and I think we're going to see it more than we do like one Bandai stuff in targets. And uh, eh, like, no, 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 whatever. I'm hating. I'm hating too much right now. Lorcana, I'm, I'm going to try to play it. I'm going to try to get into it. Um, should be fun. We just don't know how to play it yet. And then Battle Spirits. Uh. uh i don't like marbles yeah i don't like marbles um no, I, <laughs> honestly like okay so the two my, my two nitpicks about battle spirits is um one i don't want to play with marbles um like you were like how many like imagine like accepted board state is i slam the desk and my marbles fly everywhere and we don't know where they go anymore like <sighs> I don't know. I just don't want to live in that world, man. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm petty. Um, I'm petty. Um, and then, and then the last thing is, the game looks like edgy middle school stuff. Middle school stuff. I can't spell. Like, if we're gonna do these, if I'm gonna do this video series, you're just gonna learn that I I don't spell. Period um cool stuff like i don't know like the game reminds me of like uh dual mount dual masters and like i don't know like what is the name of the main dragon of the sets right now it's like super blast bull shock dragon like i i don't like i just don't like it's just it's too it's too much for me to like mentally absorb lore wise or like character wise it's like how am i going to like like I play Digimon, man. Lobomon is dope. I play One Piece. Sanji's sick as hell. I play Lorcana. Aladdin is my boy, right? Like very simple, very like distinct characters in my brain. Super full force Omega Siren Seraphim of the Nine. Like I, you cannot miss me with that stuff. Like I just, I'm trying. I'm sure the game is fun, and I have to try it, and I want to expand the channel and maybe we get there but uh yeah uh that's it i mean i might be putting the maybe this is where i put the uh, the end screen with the little squirrel on it if you guys get that for my other videos but uh yeah this was fun i i like talking i like rambling um i hope you enjoyed i hope maybe i'll segment this this out so you like 
um you guys aren't watching a <laughs> one hour video at this point um but it's just fun and i i, I want to live stream it if you guys want to join me to live stream um maybe i'll maybe i'll live stream next week and i'll put out like a, a calendar thing or something so you guys know when it's happening and then yeah no I, I like this stuff this is really fun i don't know if i'm gonna i don't know how many topics i'm gonna be able to have consistently but yeah, future ones are probably shorter but it's, a, it's an inaugural video um yeah like share subscribe and i appreciate the support guys every time i always appreciate the support see you guys next time Dios.